and welcome to FPL Mates, your best move for fantasy Premier League content for the 2023-24 season. My name is Dan and it's time for an updated chip strategy video where we're going to be looking at all of the new updated confirmed fixtures for the rest of the season and working out what we can do no matter what chips we have in our hands right now. So guys, if you find this video useful, make sure you drop a like because I've put a lot of work into this today and do subscribe if you don't want to miss any more of this crucial FPL content. So let's get straight into it. This is what the rest of the season is going to look like. We are near enough locked in. We're near enough confirmed for the remainder of this season now. And it looks like game week 34 is going to now be the biggest double game week of the season in terms of size anyway. Because we've now got Arsenal, Bournemouth, Crystal Palace, Everton, Liverpool, Sheffield United and Wolves all doubling in game week 34. And as an extra bit of information, Spurs also blanking in game week 34. Now, Looking through the rest of the season and how the sh uh, fixture schedules have worked out, I I'm really, really proud to say that we've pretty much nailed it this season in terms of when the fixtures are going to be, where they're going to be, uh, uh, when adjusting for maybe some shock FA Cup results that have switched things around a little bit for Arsenal and Liverpool. We initially thought that those teams would go through in their FA Cup, uh, well, certainly Liverpool go through in their FA Cup game, uh, Wolves, the same situation for them, and therefore those fixtures would have been in game week 37, but we've had to adjust that now, and now we've got this game week 34 long locks in. So really, really happy with the predictions this year. I'm glad that the hard work of trying to figure everything out has actually paid off this year and we get a really good idea going forward for the rest of the season. But now that we've got game week 34 in locked, we know what's happening. It's now very easy to say, well, what's going to happen with the other double game weeks? And you could just throw them all into game week 37, basically. So game week 37, we're going to have doubles for Brighton, Chelsea, Man City, Man United, Newcastle and Tottenham Hotspur there as well. And one more thing. There will also be a double game week for Chelsea and Spurs. That can go in in either game week 35 or 36. Not exactly sure which of those game weeks that is going to go in. I would imagine game week 35 may be slightly more likely, but in general, we don't know for sure whether that, where that last fixture is going to go in, but we know it's going to be in that area. 35 or 36. So, we have now finally got to a stage where we are pretty happy. We pretty much know what's going to happen for the rest of the season. It's only that Chelsea Spurs game that has a little question mark around it. Every Everything else is locked in and that is fantastic news when we go through planning the remainder of our season. So there we go guys, this is what we're looking at, this is the update as of today, this is where all of our doubles and blanks are going to be between now and the end of the season. Fabulous, fabulous stuff. And I think now we can move on and start talking about how we're going to navigate this, what we need to do in order to make the most of the doubles, of the blanks, and where we're going to use those chips. So, of course, for bench boost, two really obvious game weeks. Game week 34 and 37 are the two game weeks you will be looking to bench boost. I'm going to have to put this out here, guys. I think game week 37 is going to be easier to bench boost given an overall strategy. So even though it looks like Game week 34 is a slightly larger double game week. In game week 37, we actually have a few teams that uh, look really, really kind of strong. Teams that we do want to invest in. The likes of Man City, the likes of Chelsea and Spurs, the likes of, uh, you know, Manchester United and Newcastle in there as well. So whereby Brainsh Bruce 34, you probably have a, a nice core of Arsenal and Liverpool players for the double game week in 34. But you'll be supplementing that with players from like Crystal Palace and Everton and Bournemouth, Sheffield United, <laughs> Wolves. And obviously these are not so desirable teams. So when you're looking at what your bench might look like in game week 34 it's likely that it's going to look slightly weaker in 34 than it would do in game week 37 and also when you're trying to navigate the rest of the season I think Spurs really do screw things up because Spurs have a blank in 34 but then they you know double in 37 and double in one of 35 and 36 they're also a team that we're going to want to be invested in later on and if you have a lot of those players from Spurs right now um, you can't really bench boost you can't really get you know, a load of Spurs players in uh, and, and bench boost them for 34, but then also have them in 35, 36, 37. It's going to be very, very difficult to do that. Spurs have been, uh, are going to be a banana skin for a lot of people if you haven't got your strategy right. And one way of combating that is to go for a game week 37 bench boost and actually look to potentially avoid Spurs players in the short term, unless of course you are free hitting in 34. The wildcard opportunities, to me, look like game week 30 or 31, so very, very soon, or maybe a little bit later on in the season with 35 and 36. If you're wildcarding in 30 and 31, again, it is going to be difficult to bench boost in 34, but it is going to be possible. It might be something that you do consider. Um, if, if you are looking to bench boost in 34, 
a wild card now would be the way to do that and you would have to sacrifice uh you know spurs players in order to do that on your wild card right now but hey maybe that works out pretty well for you of course you could also wild card now with a view to bench boost later on in the season maybe if you want to free hit in 34 that could potentially work as well but the other opportunity because i think a lot of people will be wild carding out of whatever uh, terrible team that they managed to put together for game week 29 if you still have that team as your main team you didn't free hit in 29 you're probably going to need to wild card now to fix your team so 30 31 to fix your team that's a good point to wild card if you didn't free hit last week also game week 35 and 36 so you did free hit in game week 29 actually your team doesn't look too bad it's in a reasonably good situation maybe you can fix it with one or two transfers you don't need to use your wild card right now so saving it for 35 36 when you can suddenly bring in a load of uh spurs players bring in a load of chelsea players ready for their double in 35 or 36 i guess if we find out that, uh, that they do double in 35, then you're probably going to want to wildcard in 35. If they double in 36, you might be able to save your wildcard for one week later and, and play it in 36 instead. But if you do that, if you can manage to hold out your wild card until this period of time, not only can you get those Chelsea and Spurs plays in, but you can also prepare for a Game Week 37 bench boost, which is something that I really do like the look of. In terms of free hit, there is... Probably three opportunities. Uh, I, I think most people would say two. Well, they would just say uh, three hit 34. It's a double game week. Obviously, you want a free hit in a double game week, ideally. And game week 37. Again, another double game week as well there. But I do also want to throw out the idea of potentially free hitting in 38. And the reason I'm saying that is because I don't actually think a free hit is that strong for 34. Depending on what your team looks like right now. Um, depending on you know whether you're going to be wildcarding right now as well. There's going to be a, actually a quite an easy opportunity to get to a decent squad in game week 34 without the use of a free hit. You know, you're already going to want to be going for Arsenal and Liverpool players, for example. And those are the two main teams who are doubling in 34. We've also got a situation where you might have some Bournemouth players lined up in your team already. If so, game week 34 again they double. So you, you, you don't need the free hit to get the Bournemouth players in. You've already got them. And of course, we've got a few game weeks anyway to continue to bring in more players. You can bring in uh, a Crystal Palace player if you want to. You can bring in a Wolves player if you don't have one in your team already. So actually, I think a three hit in 34 is looking less and less desirable. And I would actually be thinking of if you are to use a free hit in game week 34, it would be more to navigate the surrounding game weeks than to look to get an advantage in game week 34 as an individual game week, because I think non-free hitters and free hitters will probably score similar levels of points in game week 34. I don't think the free hitters will have a huge advantage over non-free hitters, as long as the non-free hitters are planning well for that game week. Which brings us to 37 as a free hit opportunity, potentially if you still have your free hit. Of course, I do prefer the bench boost here, but if you are looking to bench boost in 34 maybe, then 37 could be an opportunity for a free hit as well. You can triple up on your Man City players, you can triple up on your Chelsea and Spurs players. But again, you're probably going to already want to have Chelsea and Spurs players for their double in 35 or 36 anyway. So you're going to have these players in anyway. Again, is free hit in 37 going to be a huge advantage? Which brings us to game week 38. Famously, game week 38 is always the highest scoring game week of the uh, season or the high scoring single game week of the season. We see loads and loads of goals. We see lots of open games. We see lots of rotation and having that free hit to react to whatever the final day situation is. You know, we'll find out what teams have nothing to play for. We'll find out what teams are chasing the golden boot and things like that. All those little things. We might get some early team news since all of the teams, all of the players will be kicking off at the exact same time. So we'll have so much information going into game week 38. It'll be a high scoring game week anyway. It could genuinely be a potential free hit option for you there as well. So uh, yeah, like I say, I know people will be thinking 34, 37, these are the free hit weeks. I just want to throw out game week 38 as a potential option for you there as well. So let's start here. Chip strategies. Uh, I think it really depends on do you have your free hit? Do you have your wild card? Because that is going to define your strategy for the rest of the season. Now, if you have both your wild card and your free hit, I would be using the strategy in the top left. So game week 30 or 31, you'd be looking to wild card. Game week 34, you'd be looking to free hit and 37 bench boost. If you don't have your uh, free hit, but you do have a wild card, 
Wild carding in 35 or 36 might be the play with a bench boost in 37. Uh, if you don't have your wild card, but you do have a free hit, then a free hit in game week 34 is probably the way forward, and game week 37 is going to be your bench boost week. And if you don't have either your free hit or your wild card, in that case, uh, you'd be just looking to bench boost in 37. Of course, if you don't have a bench boost either, you can pretty much just subtract the bench boost from each of these individual plans. It is a, very much a bonus chip. The free hit and the wild card are the essential chips that define your chip strategy in many ways the bench boost and the triple captain are little just just little bonuses on that so if you don't have a bench boost or if you do have a triple captain then you can factor that in nothing changes but the fact that you would be playing a bench boost i guess so there we have it let's go through each of these strategies individually and hopefully this will cover everyone. This will fix whatever situation you're in. We'll have a strategy for you today. So first of all, a wild card and a free hit. Say you have both. You uh, somehow managed to navigate game week 29, maybe just using hits to, to get a, a playing squad for that. And you probably feel quite good about yourself uh, after that really low scoring game week, seeing uh, a lot of people use a free hit on a super low scoring game week, myself included. Um, you probably feel pretty good about that. But this comes with its new problems. And I think, unfortunately, those of you who have been more patient uh, and planning for Game Week 29, you have been a little bit punished by both Wolves and Liverpool getting knocked out of the FA Cup because what we've what we've now found is that a free hit in Game Week 34 is significantly weakened by the fact that a lot of people who did free hit in 29 are going to find it super easy to get, you know, 11 double game week players without the use of any hits. Uh, it's going to be pretty easy to actually get a, a decent double game week squad for game week 34. It really, really is, uh, unfortunately. So, um, obviously, if you did navigate last game week with just transfers and hits, you still have your wild card in your back pocket, then you are going to need to reset your team. Your team right now is going to have Spurs players, Luton players. It's going to have several other players that you're probably not too happy with keeping necessarily, you know, like the likes of Luton, Nottingham Forest players, maybe maybe West Ham players, maybe some Aston Villa players, these kind of players that you don't want to have in your team. Maybe you'd like the Spurs players to stay, but outside of that, a lot of players that you would want to remove right now. And as such, you're going to need a wild card to fix your team, to reset your team. And what the key here is going to be is to get Chelsea and Spurs players. Because if you are planning a bench boost in 37, what we need to do is we need to start planning way ahead for game week 37, which is going to be a little bit difficult. Because if we're free hitting in 34, that's the point where you want to bring in, you know, Arsenal, Liverpool players. So this is the, uh, the, the, the downside to this strategy. You are going to be depending on Spurs and Chelsea players in the short term because you're going to be free hitting in Arsenal and Liverpool players in 34. So you might actually have to go without uh, so many Arsenal and Liverpool players, which is not ideal. And I think this is where this strategy is kind of unfortunately kind of taken a step back. He's fallen a little bit uh, behind in the rankings, in, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, Obviously, you'll be using your wildcard now. You'll be trying to plan out to make sure you have got triple Chelsea, triple Spurs uh, by game week 35, 36, and then ready to bench boost in 37. Um, yeah, it, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to use the strategy. And you, yeah, like I say, you, you will have to sacrifice Arsenal and Liverpool players. Maybe only have three Arsenal and Liverpool players rather than six, <laughs> I guess, uh, because you're going to be bringing them all in in a free hit 34 anyway. And after 34, neither Arsenal nor Liverpool players uh, have any doubles. So at that point, after 34, you are going to be wanting to remove these players anyway. So it's a case of, do you spend lots of transfers bringing in them players and then removing them again? Or do you try and just trying to ride this out without Arsenal and Liverpool players and be more prepared for a bench boost in 37. It could be that you need a lot of transfers, maybe even some hits to get a good bench boost in 37. And I think that is the biggest problem with this strategy at the moment. But the key is, of course, wildcarding now. Make sure you are at least semi-prepared for the bench boost in 37, even though it's way out in the distance, you need to start thinking already about what kind of players you want to have in your team, making sure you have two playing goalkeepers, for example, making sure that, um, you know, you do have some Man City players in your team. You're going to need at least two Man City players in to cover their decent fixtures now and their double in 37. You're going to need to make sure you have Spurs players, which is good because Spurs actually have some nice fixtures over the next few game weeks and you can free hit them out immediately in game week 34 anyway. And that's going to work out pretty well for you. I think this is possible to pull this back, make this work. I think you're going to be in an absolutely fine situation. It's not perfect. Uh, it's not as powerful as maybe we thought it might be previously. FA Cup results, FA Cup shocks, surprises, they happen in football. This happens in FPL and uh, 
you know, we just have to roll with it and see what we can do about it. So this is the kind of strategy I'd be going for if I had both my wild card and my free hit. Just to give you an example, guys, of what a Game Week 34 free hit would look like, uh, this is probably roughly something uh, along the lines of, like, the kind of ideal squad for Game Week 34. So if you are planning to save your free hit 34, uh, Pickford in goal, Gabriel, uh, Trent, and Munoz in defence there, Salah, Saka, Eze, and Erdegaard in midfield, and up front, Solanke, Darwin, and Mateta. Put on the bench, Jose Sarr, uh, He Chan, if he is available, Branthwaite, and Senesi there potentially as well. Those are the kind of players we'd be looking at. At bringing in for a free hit and as you can kind of see the bench boost uh, kind of probably doesn't look great for this game week if you look at kind of the perfect team for 34 with a bench boost it's not amazingly powerful you know it's not insane it's it's, it's okay it's fine but it's not uh, anything too crazy really is it uh, of course guys you're probably wondering if if we had a wild card that we're going to use in 30 uh, what will that look like guys make sure you are subscribed uh, and get ready for tomorrow because we'll be dropping a full breakdown of a wild card tomorrow as well as you know an extension on this particular strategy and how using a wild card now can set you up for later on in the season so we're going to go we're going to deep dive into this strategy and a wild card in tomorrow's video with the wild card draft included in that one so watch this space so if you are like uh, uh, like uh, some people who uh, maybe use a wild card in game week 28, maybe 29, maybe 27. If you use a wild card a few weeks ago, basically, uh, to set yourself up for game week 29 and beyond, then we're going to have to navigate Game Week 34 with a free hit. And this is what you're going to be doing. So using your transfers, you're going to be starting to reset your team. You're going to be keeping those crucial Spurs players that you picked up using your wildcard previously. But you're also now going to be looking to pick up some Chelsea players as well. Um, maybe a little bit of Arsenal, a little bit of Liverpool, though it's more difficult to do that. But uh, we're going to be looking to remove those uh, less than desirable Bournemouth, Luton, uh, Nottingham Forest players, uh, Ch uh, West Ham players. You want to start to look to remove those players and replace them with Chelsea mainly. Uh, a little bit of Man City there. If you haven't got Man City players in your team, you might want to think about bringing them in uh, from Game Week 31 onwards because, again, we are looking to try and take this long term and build towards a Game Week 37 bench boost. Of course, having triple Spurs is fine because you can free hit them out in Game Week 34 and going into those later Game Weeks, hopefully you can manage to get yourself a few Chelsea players in there ready for 35 and 36 using those other transfers to get the likes of Man City City, Man United, Newcastle players uh, to complete your Game Week 37 bench boost. So this is the strategy that I'll be going for if I only had the free hit and no wildcard. So, if you free hitted in Game Week 29, you probably felt very, very miserable. And you probably had a lot of people, maybe in your mini leagues, in your group chats, on social media, bantering you that your free hit was a disaster. However, Everything has fallen perfectly for those who free hitted in Game Week 29. Things really could not have gone better. And even though free hitters might have found themselves very unlucky in Game Week 29, you can certainly say you are lucky now. Uh, and I include myself in this one. I feel very, very lucky the way the fixtures have fallen because if you free hitted in Game Week 29, well, what are you going to have? You're, or you're going to have Arsenal players because you would have never, you wouldn't have sold those Arsenal players. You're going to have Bournemouth players. You wouldn't have sold those players. You maybe have a little bit of Wolves. Maybe you have a little bit of Crystal Palace. Maybe a little bit of Liverpool as well. And all of those teams double in Game Week 34. So, say you already got double Arsenal, double Bournemouth, maybe one other double Game Week player there for 34 already. You're probably already out on five or six double Game Week players right at this moment which is great. What we need to do for the next few game weeks is to continue to build towards that Game Week 34, hyper-focus on Game Week 34. And the way we do that is by looking primarily at Arsenal and Liverpool. These are the two key teams that you are going to want to invest in now and what great teams to invest in as well. You know, it's a little bit different to those who are investing now in Chelsea and Spurs players who are, you would say, are perhaps weaker FPL assets than Arsenal and Liverpool players who you want to be going for now if you've only got your wild card left. So yes, so you've got your already five uh, five or six, maybe double game week 34 players. Let's start to add triple Liverpool. Get triple Liverpool. Try and get Salah into your team. Try and get Darwin into your team. Maybe Trent Alexander-Arnold if you can get him. Uh, Alisson might be a, a decent pick uh, if he's back uh, later on as well. Various players like that. For Arsenal, get your Gabriel. You've already got your Gabriel. You've probably already got your Saka. Now add a Saliba or a Erdegaard or a Kai Havertz or a whoever you fancy. Raya in goal potentially there as well. Lots of options there. So 
So by the time we get to 34, you should, if you have planned pretty well, and if you've been following these videos uh, along so far, uh, when I've been making previous strategy videos, if you've been following them along so far and you are going with this strategy, game week 29 free hit strategy, then you should easily have 11 double game week players for game week 34. You could even potentially get, uh, you know, 12 for free. You know, uh, you are really going to be in a great situation. And after that, you'll be looking to wildcard. Wildcarding in game week 35 or 36 in order to get in triple Spurs, triple Chelsea, and then also getting all of those Man City players back into your squad, which is going to be really, really nice indeed because you're going to have the double in 34, uh, 35, 36, and you're also going to be really well prepared with potentially 15 double game week players for 37. Uh, would you like to see what that might look like? A bench boost in 37 with a wild card so close to it. It's going to be really, really tasty. It's going to be really, really easy to uh, navigate that those final few game weeks uh, if you've still got your wild card. Uh, let's, let's have a look at it. So, of course, uh, a lot of things can change. Injuries, uh, changes of form of various teams, uh, other cup commitments might change our mind a little bit on some of these players. But as, as an example, bench boost team, what it might look like if you are going for the full 15 double game week players using your wild card ready to bench boost in 37. This is the kind of team that we might be looking at making. So what I've done is I've got Vicario in goal, a defense of Trippier, Gusto and Walker, midfield of Son, Richarlison, Foden and Palmer and up front, Haaland, Nicholas Jackson, controversial I know, and Isaac to complete the front line. On the bench I've got Onana, Gordon, Dunk and Dallow, which is I think as a bench boost a little bit better than what it looked like for game week a game week 34 bench boost because I feel like we've got slightly better teams here, haven't we? We've got Manchester United, we've got Newcastle, Brighton, slightly stronger teams there for your bench boost rather than, you know, Everton's and Crystal Palaces and things like that. So I think it's a little bit stronger. Um, yeah, guys, this team looks really, really nice on paper. There's a load of fixtures. I particularly like the Spurs double against Burnley and Man City because Spurs do like that Man City fixture. Obviously, having triple Man City is going to be really, really nice for a bench boost here as well. Well, and yeah, you can just supplement those uh, those City, no, City Chelsea Spurs players with a bit of Newcastle. I think Newcastle are the next team to triple up on after that, and then after that maybe uh, one Brighton player, a couple of Man United players to complete the lot. And uh, the bench boost looks really really fantastic. I, I like the look of this, and I think. I'm probably going to be doing something similar to this. Um, there's probably going to be many other options and it might not look exactly like this, but something like this would be what we'd be looking to go for for that bench boost. Okay, so here is the final uh, situation for your chips. If you are someone who has no wild card or no free hit, I am going to give this to you very, very straight. You are in trouble. And the reason you're in trouble is because you want to maximize your double gaming players for 34 but also you want to maximize your double gaming players for 35, 36, and 37. And essentially, the rest of the season is split up into two halves. We've got the, the first half, now until game week 34, for the game week 34 big game week. And then we've got the, the final four game weeks of the season, 35, 36, 37. And the team you want up until game week 34 is entirely different to the team you want later on in the season. So you do need chips. It's really, really uh, you know, important that you have chips at this stage of the season to quickly pivot from a team in game week 34 to a completely incompatible team in game week 37. Two completely different teams you need from now and then another one for the end of the season. So a chip allows you to fix that. Um, unfortunately, if you are in this situation, you don't have a chip. So what can you do? Just try and make the most of it. Focus on the few teams that matter the most. And you'd be looking to have a core probably of Man City players in your team. A nice core of at least Haaland and Foden in there as part of your squad. After that, uh, you would be looking to bring in Arsenal and Liverpool players in the for this next five period, five game week period. So Arsenal and Liverpool, just, just go all in on Arsenal and, and Liverpool there. And then after that, you want to transition and now your focus will be on Spurs and Chelsea players. And those are really going to be the only uh, yeah, kind of kind of players you, you, you need to focus on, I guess, uh, as, as well as having that core of Man City players. And then bench boost in 37. Will it be a super powerful bench boost? Maybe not, but you're going to have at least a couple of game weeks to try and build something of a bench boost, even if some of those bench boost players are just, uh, you know, sitting on your bench kind of thing. But particularly if you've got Spurs players in your team already, 34 is going to be very difficult to bench boost. 
and because you're going to want to bench your Spurs players if you don't have any chips for game week 34. Uh, you can't you can't really sell them. You, know, you arguably want to buy them with some of these fixtures coming up, and you definitely want to have them later on in the season. So, yeah, bench boost is probably not the play for game week 34 if you don't have any other chips. 37, you could maybe try and claw something together, ideally. Um, but, yeah, there you go, guys. That is the final uh, possible strategy. And we want to say one more thing, and that's about triple captains. Because I know the very few people who still have the triple captain, you're probably uh, thinking, you know, when can I use that? Uh, let me tell you. So, I actually think that those that have saved their triple captainship have just been given a huge lifeline in the form of Salah in game week 34. Fulham and Everton, two away fixtures. This is a really nice opportunity for a triple captain on the likes of Salah. Uh, obviously, we have Saka as a potential option in 34 as well. Game week 35 and 36, we have to look at Chelsea and Spurs. We don't know which of these two doubles will come true, but certainly Palmer and Son, they look okay for 35 and 36. And 37, of course, if you're not using a chip there, Haaland against Fulham and Spurs is nice. Son against Burnley and uh, a team that he loves to play, Manchester City there as well. But as always, make sure you're thinking about your other chips first. Place your free hit, place your wild card, place your bench boost, and whatever is remaining, that is the time where you want to be using your triple captain. So if you are planning to free hit in 34 and bench boost in 37, for example, well, you're going to have to use your triple captain in 35 or 36. If you are planning a bench boost in 37, but maybe no chip in 34, then hey, we've got Salah as your opportunity there, possibly Saka, but Come on, let's be real. If you're going to be using your triple captain on someone, it's going to be the big man himself. So there you go. Those are your triple captain options if you still have them. So yeah, I just wanted to conclude this video by just having a final look at the fixture schedule and uh, yeah, just giving some overall thoughts on it. I, I think... Those of you who free hit in 29, I think this has fallen massively in your favor and you can thank the FPL gods for everything that, is, uh, that has happened. But it's not impossible to uh, use this situation to your advantage elsewhere. If you uh, can hold your wild card until... 35 or 36 to get your wild card as close to your 37 bench boost as possible. I think that is going to be a real advantage because we'll have so much more information by that point. And if you wild card now and still want to bench boost in 37, although it's still probably the, the, the sensible play, it is going to be a little bit more difficult because so much can change between now and 37. You can't fully prepare for a bench boost now and uh, you know play that bench boost in two months time. It's, so much is going to change in football all the time before you actually get to play that bench boost. So uh, information is key as always. We've pretty much got all of the information now, which is fantastic. And now it's just a case of what we do with those chips we have remaining. Um, I'm going to be personally wildcarding in 35 and 36 and then bench boosting in 37. So I will share everything to do with my personal strategy, which I know a lot of you guys are following along with. I'll share that in my team selection video coming up this week. And also, like I say, if you are looking to wildcard now with a view for trying to capture capitalize on a gaming 34 free hit and 37 bench boost that video will be dropping tomorrow and we're going to be bringing you a wild card template that you can use now that will set you up for the remainder of the season but uh, yeah there we go guys I'm super super happy with all of our predictions so far one more fixture to place this season and then it's locked in and I'm very excited about everything right now man um, we're back guys a few days off from making FPL content uh, but we are finally back so if you wouldn't mind dropping a like on this video that would be massively massively appreciated uh, because yeah like I said We've had a few days off. I do apologize, but FPL YouTubers need an international break as well. But we're going to be bringing you videos every day now until the game week, uh, the game week 30 deadline. So make sure you are subscribed as well. And uh, yeah, looking forward to bringing our wildcard video to you guys tomorrow. But aside from that, thank you so much for watching once again. And I'll see you later, mates.